Welcome back to building a WordPress theme with Tailwind and underscores. Today we're going to focus on cleaning up the main site layout. Um, this will be a shorter episode today, but let's get to it. Alright, so just looking at our home page here, uh, we have all of our posts as well as the sidebar, uh, but it's all just kind of in line in one big column. Uh, so let's, uh, let's work on that real quick. If we open up the dev tools, let's just see what we have here. We have a content area section here. And right next to that, we have the widget area. Um, so real quick, easy fix would just be to add the flex class here. Um, but just like we learned in the last episode with the responsive sizing, we probably want this to be, on the smaller devices, to be a column still. So flex column. And then on the larger devices, uh, like a medium size, we'll do flex row. All right, so there's our smaller size. And as we expand it out, pops over to the right so we have our sidebar. Let's jump over to PHPStorm real quick. Uh, we'll go into our index PHP. That's what we're going to be working on today. So we have our content area, we have our sidebar and footer. Um, so let's, uh, let's clean this up a little bit. Put the sidebar here, footer here. So now we can wrap these separately so we can do so the flex uh, flex column and then the medium flex row pull this down here all right let's check that out real quick all right that's what we wanted now if we look at this in the the full screen size here everything goes right to the edge uh, this takes up a ton of room so let's wrap it in a container. Uh, container is a nice class that Tailwind ships with that sets the maximum width based on the maximum size of the screen. So once it gets above 1200 pixels, it'll only take up 1200 pixels. Uh, same thing with large, um, you know, the max width will be 992, etc. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, let's, on this main wrapper div that we have wrapping everything, we'll just say container. All right, that looks better. Uh, but let's let's center it in the middle of the screen. So we will do mx. So our margins on the x, auto. There we go. So the margins on each side are set to auto, which will center this nicely for us. However, I still want to have some padding, uh, especially as we get down onto a mobile device. Um, so let's go ahead and set a padding of two. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Let's do four. That looks better. Now I still think this middle section is a bit too wide, uh, so we can play with the width of it. Uh, let's say we want a width of maybe half the page. Uh, maybe that's a little too small. Let's maybe say two thirds. Okay, that looks better. Um, but now the sidebar is a little bit off to the left, so I think maybe we should push all these things over to the right side more so the posts will be more centered with the page with the sidebar on the side. To do that, we can use uh, the Flexbox class here. Um, let's see here, we can say justify end, and that'll push things over to the right side of that area. That looks better. However, uh, again, we need to pay attention to our responsive sizing. As we get small here, uh, this is now taking up just two-thirds of the width. Uh, we really want it to be the full width on mobile. So let's go here. This class, we only want it to be on medium size. Great. All right, let's go do that in the code real quick. So we go to PHP Storm. Uh, we wanted this to be justify end and our content area wrapping everything we don't need that anymore we just need medium width two-thirds let's just make sure everything looks correct here it looks good there all right that looks good to me and the last thing i want to do here is really give us some more spacing here um, let's take a look at our margins that we can put in here 
All right, so let's look at what we have here. Uh, so we have this width two third. Um, let's give it a margin right of maybe four. All right, maybe maybe eight. Yeah, I'd really like to push this over as much as possible, um, but eight is the biggest we have in Tailwind, so we can tweak that a bit. If we go into our tailwind.js file, we have a search in here for margin. And here's where we set up our margins. Um, so let's make another one. Let's say 16 will be 4 rims. And maybe we need another bigger one. Let's say 32 is 8 rims. Let's go ahead and uh, gulp that real quick. We can go in here and say medium margin right 16. Looks a little better. Let's try the 32 we, we built. There, I like that. And since we put medium in there, when we get to the smaller size, we won't have that margin on the right. So let's just drop that back into our index file here. Medium margin right 32. We still have a lot to style in here with our posts, our footer, and our sidebar. We'll cover those in the next few episodes. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to just play with the Tailwind utilities, which is really the point I want to get across um, about how easy it is to just style your site and design it the way you want. Uh, I'm trying to keep these episodes a bit shorter. I know the last one was about 17 minutes. Um, hopefully these will be easier to digest. Um, so let me know what you think about the format in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode.